Anthony Martin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm delighted that the government has such a ambitious uh, outlook to sign as many free trade agreements as possible. But unfortunately, the government has set out the constitutional reform and governance process on the Australia Free Trade Agreement without allowing us to present our report to the House and without providing a debate on the Australia Free Trade Agreement. This is essential for all members of Parliament to be able to actually give their views on the trade deals that we are signing and to give our constituents a voice in this place. So can we please, before, and I know this is ambitious given that he's already outlined business with the House next week, can we please have a debate on the Australia Free Trade Agreement before we ratify it? So I, I thank my friend for his, his question. Obviously, the International Trade Committee has had six months with the agreement prior to the CRAG uh, commencing. Uh, the government's commitment to holding debates on free trade agreements during the CRAG process is subject to the request being made in a timely manner and parliamentary time being available. So I'm sure the honourable gentleman will appreciate there are a wide range of competing demands on time in the chamber before the House rises for the summer recess.